Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel, okay? I've been knocking them down. I've been throwing y'all back-to-back videos. Because when they show, I have to tell. When they show, meaning celebrities, and I don't agree with it, I got to tell. Okay? That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Like, why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can and a can-can and a can-can and a wheel. Alrighty. Welcome back. To another show, guys. We got to talk about who did it better. All right, we have two cheaters in the house. Yes. And I'm seeing Portia. And I'm trying to figure out where Portia is getting her advice from. Is it coming from the lovely Nene Leaks? Okay. Who can't seem to get her life together right now. But we're going to leave her out there. Because she's bitter and, and, and miserable at the time. And she's more than likely still grieving. And we're just going to give her time to act accordingly in September. Okay. Because she would have, have uh, went through a whole year of grieving. And hopefully she can see the forest for the trees. Now we know Candy Burris had told her about both subjects we're going to discuss tonight. She sat down and told her little spiel on both of the men that Miss Portia had recently let in her life. You know, like less than five years, okay? She said one was a playboy. Yes, that's Dennis. So you see, he he ain't really styling and profiling. He's just on the city streets of not Atlanta. I guess he's maybe in Florida or somewhere, maybe California. Okay, and he's just out there doing his thing because he's young. He's having fun. He's sowing his seeds. He's doing what it make it do. And he's making business moves to secure his future. Okay, but that's the only time you see brother man. That's the only time I really seen a picture of him or, or, or other when he was filming on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And they showed him dropping off PJ or picking up PJ. But see, when she was with Dennis McKinley, Portia was feeling young. She is young. She was just being a hoe out there. And Dennis was being her pimp. And it just made, like, caramel on an ice cream sundae. You know what I'm saying? That's what it was looking like. She was not keeping her secrets that should have been left in the bedroom. She was bringing them out for everybody to see. Okay. Yeah, but we already know Dennis told her she ain't shit in bed. She's lazy. <laughs> that means he had to do all the work. But it is what it is. But she's always smiling. She's, I mean, smiling, I mean, grinning real big. Okay, showing all her 32 teeth. All right. <sighs> but then she had a conundrum. She had to think about forgiving or not forgiving or forgiving but not forgetting okay she is a wild woman she's living her i think she was 30 something at that time and candy tried to tell her look dennis is all that and then some but he ain't no good material for us no boyfriend right now because he loves all and every woman he can get his hands on okay and that ain't wrong with that unless you're saying you want to be in a real relationship then something wrong with it now this man right here he's a cheater too he's admitted to Portia that yes he's cheated in the past he didn't cheat on Fallon per se we don't know okay but we gonna hold him to his word he said he didn't cheat on Fallon but he has a history of cheating Portia so how do you find yourself with two men that cheat one you really haven't forgiven him and you definitely haven't forgot about what he did that's dennis but you can forgive and move on and try to have a life with someone who admitted to you he's cheated in the past not one time several times and then he's assuming that if he wanted to and he can convince you to he'll have many wives as well as his dad did and as his grandfather did now what mess is that what kind of mess is that what kind of mess have you put yourself into portia the williams tell us girl what in the hell is going on now you can see when you're with simon everything is on a slow-mo okay you're in slow motion. You know what I'm saying? You're not happy with the big grinning teacher on our 34s. You're not just 
throwing your body everywhere knowing Dennis will be there to catch it no you're with father time father time many time is running out okay he's in his senior years Portia are you just waiting for him to pass away and you just engulf all of his money girl have you not seen all them kids he got do you not do you not think half that money going to them kids so what is left for you and all the things you had to do with Dennis, you want to still be a part of the rock. Hell, he had no children. It was just PJ. He only had his mama. So it was plenty to share around for him to leave you if he uh, died before you did. See how happy you was? See how young you was? And it says, like, uh, Father Time is aging you. Okay? You all in slow motion. Everything is slow. Everything is well thought out. Well, not really well thought out, but you got to think about where you're going to uh, take him to have a good time. Because he might get sleepy and fall asleep on you or be trying to stuff a cigar, a nasty cigar at that. Messing up his lungs and his heart. And he don't care. Okay. There you go, you and him, drunk as two skunks on that left side picture. And then you're down in Anguilla. You see, he can't hold you. He can't hold you like that. I wouldn't bet. I would bet if you tried to go jump in the air and hope he would catch you a little bit. Girl, please, he'll let you fall. Because he know he probably got bad problems. He probably got arthritis and everything under the sun. And your aunt is looking at you like you're a damn fool. Okay, because he's her age. He is her age, Porsche. All right, and she don't even want him. She looked very disgusted with him and all his glory. She don't want him. She has counseled him as well. Do you not remember when y'all were sitting at that dinner table and y'all were discussing what had happened and what was going to happen with you all's um, possible marriage and how his grandfather and dad had wives, meaning plural. And you was like, well, we're Americanized. We are Americanized and we're not having all of that. And I'm like, I didn't really see him say he wasn't going to have all that. He just let you talk and he, you know, bowed his head. So Portia, 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 you were two men that have cheated more than one time, I'm guessing. Well, I can't really say about Dennis because I don't even know if he was in a real relationship uh, other than you. Because we didn't follow his life until, you know, he came on Real Housewives of Atlanta. But when you're with Dennis, you're so wild, you're so carefree, you're so vibrant. You really taste the life of living life. You see what I'm saying? And Dennis brings that side out of you. But when you with Father Time, everything just go in slow motion. Slow motion. You really don't want to upset him too much or give him too much foreplay because he might have a heart attack and crash on your ass. All right. Yes. You were sitting there. Dennis was at your mother's house getting the third degree or maybe it was your house. Everybody was digging at him. Your mama was going through some mess, trying to talk mess to him. Then Lauren going to do all this. But you didn't have them at Simon. Y'all wasn't giving Simon the third degree. On why he went through so many women. And what makes him feel like he cannot go through you, Portia. Hell, your mom. Well, not your mama, but your aunt and Elster, the friend. They wanted to meet African men themselves. I'm like, what, what the hell is going on? It doesn't matter what culture you're in. A cheater is still a cheater. A man is still a man. And if you don't have any, uh, what do you call it? Respect for himself that he gonna disrespect anybody else he can come in contact with being male or female if He don't have respect for himself. That's what he's gonna do and if he's taught that way That's what he's going to do cheat He learned from the best his dad, okay But them you two streets are talking Porsche girl Do you really want to be with father time and you start looking old before your age or do you want to stay you know, living the age that is appropriate for you to be acting wild out here. Okay? Let a sister know because we kind of confused. You want to be with father time and start aging quicker because you're settling into a life that is definitely low scale. 
or you want to be with Candy and the gang and living life to its fullest and just shaking a tail feather until you just fall out and then you get a little rest and you get back up and do it again because if you did it with Simon he'll probably throw his back out he'll probably like no nah, that's enough for a whole week baby I can't do no more you probably ain't even getting sex right portion now are you because he probably can't get it up like he used to when he was in his younger years and then again he might have been impotent then we don't know okay but we know he had kids by women so we knew he wasn't shooting blanks all right but girl 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 tell us tell us Portia how can you degrade dehumanize one man that cheated on you but it was okay for him for you to be with the old father time know his history of cheating and that it plausibly can happen in your future because he says he got to do it it's not uncommon and it's not unheard of if he can afford it then he can do it but I, I just wanted to get my family to weigh in on this situation. Should she really be staying with Father Time? Or should she go with the current time that we're in? Okay. If it ain't Dennis, it could be somebody else in her age group. Given two years younger, three years younger, or three years, four years ahead. You know what I'm saying? But the age limit that Portia don't put herself into, the man got one foot in the grave and one out on you know a banana peel okay this is how it is and evidently he don't care nothing about his health because he's smoking and drinking and he's smoking and drinking around Portia which can in turn give her second hand cancer if it had to be that way and then what about her baby girl? Is he smoking around her? Is the house just full of smoke? Smell like smoke? Because when a person smoke all the time, your whole body starts to reek of smoke. And you ain't even smoking the uh, cigarettes or cigars. You know what I'm saying? Ugh. That's all I see is, ugh. He just appalls me. He really does. Woo! But anyway, that's all I have for this video, guys. Hope y'all like it, love it, gotta have more. Y'all get down in the comments, y'all tell me. Why Portia likes to surround herself and be in relationships with cheaters? Okay? And then one that could have been worked on if you would have forgiven him and y'all did the therapy. And y'all would just be, you know, co-parenting it. And, and seeing what y'all can do if it is a chance for y'all to get back or if it's a stronger uh tie that bonds y'all where y'all just not in a relationship but y'all can you know physically and mentally co-parent and be in the same room sometime if you had to be or if you had to be in an overnight stay where it's platonic y'all could you know be there for one another <laughs> Is it too much to ask that you and Dennis can get to that point? Portia? Of course. You have put him in certain situations that if I was a man, I don't think I would trust you. Don't think I would want to be with you. But I definitely would partner up with you to raise our daughter. And all the only reason why I'm saying that is because you tried to put the brother in jail. Now, how out of straight Messyville is that? You tried to put the brother in a Mexico jail. Now, you know, they don't treat black people like that. And hell, they don't really treat black people like that in any other uh, 50 states or any other country. They be waiting for us to mess up so they can put us up under the jailhouse. But yeah. Uh-huh. So, you, it's, I guess you have to wonder, Portia, you have to really contemplate sometimes and think, do you want to live a low-key, luxurious life where it's not all bubbly and champagne? Everything is just slurred as a kosher thing, as a, 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 a what do you call it, um, a sabbatical or like a relaxation type of relationship where everything is just cool you can't you know or uh, raise your voice you can't be all 
willy nilly, you know, like you if you were with Dennis, you know, you could just lose your mind with Dennis and just go on the spur of the moment to do things. But with Simon, you know, you see, he looks so old right now. He look like, girl, he, he finna take a nap at least two or three times a day. You know what I'm saying? Then he got to get his orthopedic shoes on and his socks so his feet won't swell and the circulation could keep going on. <laughs> Woo, child. I'm telling you, girl, you can't be swinging from no uh, chandelier like you were trying to do with Dennis. can't be standing up in no bed, jumping on the bed and all that. Then you might get the man dizzy. Okay, but you probably do all that with Dennis. And he was like, okay, when you finish jumping, I'll jump later. Okay, or he might get up there and jump with you. But now Simon, because he's too scared, he might pull a disc. You know, <laughs> he might pull a hip. Girl, his, his ball might crack the wrong way. Then you'll be in traction. you be swinging from them balls. And I ain't talking about swinging and getting some sex things going on. I'm talking about swinging, holding on for dear life, and hoping them bones will joint back together, girl. I'm talking about orthopedic stuff. Child, you probably get that Bengay and rub them down. I'm like, Portia, are you single, baby? Because right now you are single, to tell you the truth. You really are single. Because he ain't put a ring on it. You ain't Mrs. Goodbody. Because if he loved you, like he say he loved you, and on these little messages he put out on social media about how much he loved you and care for you, why the hell he ain't married you? Dummy, why haven't the man married you? Because I heard through the grapevine, unless you get on that show again, which is the Real Housewives of Atlanta or some type of sitcom show, he out of here. And I'm like, I don't know how you would let him put that type of target on your back, giving you that type of ultimatum. Because, hey, when did we see him on TV anywhere? Where did we see him on a radio personality show platform? Where did he come from? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Where, how, and when? Because he ain't showing up on the Forbes list. Not like Dennis McKinley and developing his own cognac as a black-owned production. Okay? So I'm not understanding why Dennis can have all these accolades and all of these uh, things he's doing as far as creating revenue streams for his family. But we see nothing of uh, how Simon gets his money, you know, his employees, his businesses where he can just walk on in there and it says, you know, Simon or whatever, you know, he calls it, you know what I'm saying? That's all we asking, Porsche. We, we just curious as hell. You might want to call it a nose. But, you know, when you sit out there and put stuff on social media, you got to know somebody going to clap back either with, girl, you doing it on thing or, girl, are you crazy as hell? What are you doing? It's going to be one of those type of things. Because if you don't want your stuff out like that, don't put it out. Don't put no pictures. Don't do nothing. Because you're going to get something back. All right? You might tell you to start a YouTube channel. Hell, Candy got one. All right, start something, make some revenue. Stop taking all these ridiculous social flights trying to give us great optics, hoping and praying Real Housewives of Atlanta will accept you back. Like, girl, uh uh, unless you had a ring on your finger and you were getting married the next day, you shouldn't have caught, you shouldn't have, um, blessed all your jobs away. You shouldn't have did that portion. You should have made Simon show and prove. Where he was coming from. Because you did that same shit with Cordell. You thought he was having your best interest at heart. And then he turned around and didn't have your name on any deed to the house to cause or anything. And Simon has done the same thing to you allegedly. Your name is not on that house that y'all call yourselves living in. Alright. And your name probably ain't even on that Rolls Royce he gave you. Name probably ain't on that either. But it just is what it is. I'm just trying to tell you from another female to another female. Don't let no man rule you and don't no ma make no man boss you. Okay? You become your own entity, your own brand. With your own money. So when you don't like some shit that he's doing, you can just walk away. You ain't got to holler. You ain't got to yell. You ain't got to scream. You just be like, okay, I had enough. I'm leaving. And I'm leaving with all my shit. Okay? 
and this is how, this is how you build balls, Portia. Okay, Portia. <sighs> Maybe your mama didn't tell you that. But I know my mama didn't raise no food. Okay? And when the shit don't smell right anymore, you got to figure out what's contaminating that shit. Okay? You got to investigate your own shit sometimes. And if your shit's thinking more than what it should be, you got to let some things go. And look forward to some new things flourishing and developing that you can acquire at a later time. But, girl, please. You ain't bit more happy with that man in the man in the moon. All right. But that's all I have for this video, guys. Hopefully, y'all like it. Love it. Gotta have more. Get down in those comments. Make sure when you're coming over to the house, you are subscribing. That's coming into the house. That's ringing that doorbell. And when you're leaving because you don't had enough of my foolishness, you leave the door. Close it up and make sure you hit that like button. Okay. And share me out to the masses so we can grow. Okay. That's what I'm saying. That's exactly what I'm talking about. And I will see you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye.